Suppose a contractor agrees to remodel a house, but quits for a better offer after completing only part of the job. Can the defaulting contractor recover from the house's owner for the value of the work actually performed? A long-standing contract rule says no. But in Kirkland v. Archbold, the Court of Appeals of Ohio wondered whether the old rule still makes sense. Kirkland and Archbold entered into a written contract under which Kirkland would remodel and repair Archbold's house. Archbold agreed to pay Kirkland $6,000 in several installments. The first installment of $1,000 was due after the first 10 days of satisfactory work. After Kirkland had spent about three months working, Archbold stopped him and barred him from the premises because he failed to comply with the contract specifications for materials to be used on the house's exterior walls. At that time, Archbold had paid Kirkland $800. Kirkland sued Archbold for the reasonable value of the work done and materials used on Archbold's house, which he claimed was approximately $2,000. Kirkland argued that he'd been wrongly prevented from finishing the work. Archbold argued that Kirkland had breached the contract by failing to comply with its specifications and that much of the work Kirkland had done was unsatisfactory. The trial court, sitting without a jury, found that Kirkland had breached the contract and that Archbold acted within her rights to prevent Kirkland from proceeding with the work. Concluding that the provision for the first payment could be severed from the rest of the agreement, the trial court rendered judgment for Kirkland for $200, the balance due on that payment, for the work already done. Kirkland appealed to the Court of Appeals of Ohio.